What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me and taking a journey with me on a daily basis. It is fall. I kind of like fall. Not as much as summer. Uh, I actually like fall better than spring, but I'm here at Dick's Sporting Goods. Do you know, I don't think that I've ever... Look at Rita. Get it, Rita. Get it, Rita. Leslie already ran in. <clears throat> but do you know that I don't think that I've ever actually been in Dick's Sporting Goods before? All right, it's almost like it should be a rite of passage. I should have been here before. But it's like a massive store with a bunch of sporting goods stuff and workout gear and bowling stuff and workout stuff and fitness stuff and golf stuff and all of the different things. So I didn't just come here on a whim. It's no reason for me to be at Dick's Sporting Goods. But... Leslie, my daughter, said that she wanted to come and pick some things up. What is she here for? Leslie, what are you what are you here for? I need this. Leslie, what did you come here for? I need, I need it. What did you come here for? Eye black and uh, something else. Who? Eye black. Eye black. We came here for eye black? Is that all we came is that what we came here for? Is that all we came here for is eye black? You can get that from Kroger. No, pods. So we came all the way to Dick's Sporting Goods for eye black. Leslie is, is going to be rough and tough with her volleyball team tomorrow. <laughs> I love to see the interaction between you and your mother. It's so homely. It's such a great representation of what we are as a family. So great. Let me come over here and check out the golf gear. But no. That's not what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I don't care about Dick Sporting Goods. We're not here to pick up any sneakers from Dick Sporting Goods, all right? I am the sneaker king, and anybody can challenge me on that. But what Anton really wants to talk to you guys about is your addiction to social media. Why are people overly obsessed with social media? Why is that, hey, maybe I need to go putting Check it out. Look at the look at the putting green over here. Maybe we need to practice uh, with our putters. But why are people so overly addicted to social media? Oh my God! Facebook went out the other day, which ultimately uh, caused Instagram to crash. And WhatsApp. Now I can understand WhatsApp. It's a way in which a lot of people communicate, especially when you overseas and things like that. But oh my goodness, Facebook being down for six hours, people practically lost their freaking minds. And don't you sit here and lie to me talking about, well, you know, people run a lot of their businesses and all of that. Listen, if your business can't survive with Facebook being down for six hours, you got a much, much bigger problems on your hand, ladies and gentlemen. But the thing about it is just that people are overly addicted to social media. Now, I believe in social media. I believe that it's a a very important part of our lives no doubt whatsoever as a matter of fact I've made videos and even in my patreon if you haven't joined the patreon yet make sure you tap into the patreon the link is in the description I've made videos about how to a larger extent your digital profile is just as if not more important more important I think I'm gonna get some of these I like Adidas I'm starting I like Adidas more than Nike's at this point need some new running shoes uh, I think that your digital profile is more important than who you are in real life especially as far as how you're marketing yourself whether you're just and that's just not for entrepreneurs that's for business actually somebody was telling me that ASICs ASICs were the best running shoes I'll check that out I'm doing my research but especially as it relates to marketing yourself from a corporate level or a corporate perspective when I'm trying to figure out if somebody is really dope or if they awesome or not the first thing that I do is I research them online I look at all their social media profiles I look at their posts I look at everything so I'm not saying that it's not relevant significantly relevant especially when it comes to figuring out who you are or marketing yourself and things like that and not that it's even fun I think that YouTube and streaming has very much replaced cable and regular TV but let's be clear, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to be overly addicted to social media. You don't want to be addicted to anything except for winning. You don't want to be addicted to anything 
but especially social media. Anything that you can't detach from and you can't live a regular life when it goes down, that's a bigger problem and I think that that's something that you probably need to start focusing on solving. You have to be able to have great balance. I am out and about every single day. Every single day. I'm out in the streets, I'm present, I'm interacting with people. You see me, you see me out on my social media platforms, um, on Instagram, I post on my stories where I'm at and stuff like that. I'm out and about. Is these the, these, these the new Steph Curry's? I know these are the new Steph's. He had uh, the new logo that he has. Congrats to Steph. Not nothing that I don't, I would ever see myself rocking, but congrats to Steph. Big fan of you. Leslie loves you. Can't wait to see you come to the palace and light it up if you're healthy. But man, you have to have balance. It's very, very, very critical and important for you guys to cut off your phones. You can't even go to sleep at night without pulling out your phone and seeing what's gonna happen as though when you wake up the next day that there is not going to be the exact same content and exact same people. Listen, do an experiment. Get off of social media for two weeks, just two weeks, one week even, but preferably two weeks. I bet you when you come back, you have not missed anything whatsoever there's not going to be any new news anybody that ran for office that you didn't know about no meme that you're not aware of so on and so forth you are not going to get lost in the sauce i even remember at a at a time where you know young people that were in school and stuff like that they were more in tune to what was going on in society because they were more in tune to what was going on at their school and then online and stuff like that what was cool i see grown people more in the know. I mean, grown, grown people like 50, 60, 70. More in the know of what's going on just because they're so addicted and so attached to social media. It's not that deep. It really is not that deep. We have to learn to have balance, and very few people have balance. And I think that I'm one of the perfect examples of it, as usual. I know how to cut it off. I know how to cut it on. I know when to work. I work re really hard. When I go to sleep, when I go to bed, I am not tapping into my phone. I don't give a piss about what y'all talking about unless it's an emergency. When my phone, I use technology to my advantage. I use it to my advantage. My iPhone, for example, I'm using all of the health apps. I'm using an app to make sure that it goes into sleep mode at a certain time and it does not. You can't call me at a certain time unless it's an emergency. You can't get in touch with me at a certain time unless it's an emergency. I'm sorry. Can you get who? Two of you. What is up? What are the pods? Tell me about the pods, Leslie. It's for my Gatorade bottle. Let's see. What is going on with your hair, honey? We're going to have to be more we focused. We have to hurry up because we're going to be late. Just because you cover it up with the pods don't mean that it's going to. Oh, my God, Can girl. Can you get two? Let me see that. What is it? How much it would cost? What is it? Tell me. Sell me on it. Sell daddy on the pods. Can you sell daddy on the pods? Oh, I already have that one. I guess there's some kind of liquid. What is this, glass? Is this plastic? It's plastic. And you're like, okay, so I have this water bottle right here. Actually, I have this exact one. How much are these? See, I don't know. I have this exact one. So you don't care about price? Look, 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 look. For the pods? Look, I have this one. I have this exact water bottle, right? So you take it and you flip it up like this, and you put the pod right here. You push it down, and then you just got a Gatorade. But it's only that much, and it's healthier for you. I don't know if it's healthier. Boom, look at the side. Ooh, I don't know about that, Leslie. I got to look at this, make sure it ain't no sugars. Yes, it got sugar in it. I don't know about that, Les. I don't know about that, boo. Anyways, but the point that I'm making to you guys is that you got to detach. When you get into bed, social media should not be a part of your life. When you're at work, social media should not necessarily be a part of your life unless you're making money off of social media. When you are out and about with your friends and you're networking, unless you're exchanging information when it comes to social media, it should not be a part of your life. Comprende? All right? So I'm about to get off of here, and I'm about to explore Dick's Sporting Goods and just see what's happening. I actually want to go upstairs on the escalator to see what's happening. All right? I love you. I appreciate you. I am going to holler at you guys later. Hey, look, honey, you want to end the video? I'm gonna holler at you guys later. I'll let y'all later. Peace. <laughs>